now. We have to do this now. Now. Okay. All right. I'll do it. Hold on. Are you ready? Because you know that it gets weird. Hold on. life now all sexually transmitted diseases <laughs> um hello everybody welcome to another episode of not well i'm bobby i'm jim oh my god are you oh. jim oh. that was i was not expecting yeah. that like i had to do a little kitty cat Daddy. a little oh a meow a me 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 who a meowing uh, we have a lot to go over. We have literally pages, apparently. Yeah, like I have a lot going on today. It's the circumcision episode. It's a circumcision episode. It's a circum. I can't say that. Circumcision. Word. It's a cut episode. Cut or uncut. That's, cut or uncut. That's, that's my favorite question that's to figure the question. out. Question. And well, honestly, like when you run into a guy, like that's the first thing you should ask. Now, okay, yeah, you're right. I think it's appropriate, especially if it's in cut the Bible. Cut or uncut. It's in the bio wall. Yeah. Are you part of the tribe or are you out? So that makes me feel very interested in the fact that if you aren't circumcised and you are a Christian. You're not really. But we'll get to that we'll later. We'll get to that later. <laughs> so you've had quite a day. I've had quite a week. I've had quite a month. I've had quite a year. Yeah. It's the chaos continues. Yeah. You know, things are uh, monkeypox is spreading still. Yeah. So I actually wanted to read some comments that I found on the monkeypox on Yahoo. It's on the you go into our Instagram. I saw that. Okay. I've been sharing it with people like, hello. Same. Like, hello. I'm an activist. Shout out to being able to drink today because I don't work right after recording. That's right. Okay. So like some of the things that are said are like. About gays. The infected men need to be rounded up and put in concentration camps until this is over. For society's sake, of course. What puts people at risk of monkeypox? Anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. Doing this stuff was wrong when I was young. Should still be. Doing what stuff? It's not sexually. I get it's that not a sexually gays are disease. transmitting it currently. Via, yeah, but that's because we fuck the kid. The police need to be called in cases involving kids. They may have been sexually raped by pedophiles, mm. or like once again, it's oh. transmitted by touch. Oh, oh, oh she just, you just got <laughs> might have got monkey pog. or you send didn't. them to the land of Oz. Yeah, like it's like all these little uh, these all these trolls and reptiles. But anyway, so I was on Yahoo and I see this uh, article and I was like, oh, they have comments because they used to take away the comments since Trump, but now they're they're back apparently. So I'm all sure the we, trolls and reptiles were there. Honestly, like probably a lot of bots too. Because I've noticed bots showing up in Instagram comments that I'm like. And you go to their page and there's no followers, no likes, no. And and you're like. So there's a bot that just says like. Are they pissing us off on purpose? They're probably. I mean, someone's paying the bot to do it. Like the government's like, let's just rile these motherfuckers up more and more and more and more. Let's keep pushing them to the edge so they end up killing. Like I can't. Killing a softly. Killing a softly. Killing a softly. (laughs) Por favor. (laughs) <laughs> Kill me softly, please. Wow, so that's encouraging, mm-hmm. but it's still spreading. There's cases in Columbus, like. But but we have, we have we some news. Update. Someone got the pox shot, and someone is scheduled. So I looked like two days ago, and they're like, our first appointments are going to be on that Thursday. So yesterday, I got an appointment. I got Matt an appointment too. I think he was glad to get it. He should be based on what he participates in. <laughs> Yeah, because you have to be a whore. You have to be a whore to get it, Matt. Well, and I almost was like, the thing that I was going to text yesterday, but I was like, it's kind of rude, but um, all the whores in Columbus were posting their pictures of like, I got my shot. I want to be like, well, all the hoes are are taken care of. They all went to Long Island Thursdays after, too. Literally. But then today, I happened to see you were eligible. Yeah, and I had given you the, I gave you the info yesterday. I was driving on the road, like, this is probably inappropriate, but I had to take a picture of that fucking uh, insurance card. I was was like, like, here, send me the insurance under my shot. You were on a, and then you're like, oh, just kidding it. They closed it. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? It was like, right after you sent everything i could the appointments are going fast like the if ones, you hear about the appointment yeah, you need to go just get sign it up and it's not like you can don't sign wait up. five minutes it's one day too like they have days yeah it's like they're a like releasing a, a day at a time so they're like okay monday we have all these slots and that's it and so they, i mean they go so fast like like in between i did myself immediately did matt and then immediately called bobby so it was within 
three minutes they were out in between yeah. Matt and then Bobby. Yeah. So don't wait. Don't wait. Don't put it in your email. Don't. Oh, I'll go home and do it. No, no, no. no. Do it right that second. Pull over. Because I got a, I got an appointment, and uh, two of my friends got an appointment. Such good news. Like it's such good news. It's such good news. We can get slutty again soon. Even though there's only a seventy five percent chance it helps. Um, and what a difference between the gays and the straights. Like the gay men are desperate for a vaccine. Like we're like, sign me up. When Please. COVID came around. Again, yeah. who run this mother? Gays. Who run this mother? Gays. Gays. Ew, do we? No. So monkeypox, let's just close out. Let's like it's same shit, but go get your vaccine. They're starting to become available. And stock hook stop hooking up. Be diligent. I thought you were gonna say Stockholm syndrome. I was like, Stockholm what? syndrome. Stockholm syndrome. Wait, be diligent. Be diligent with trying to get an appointment. Like, keep check. Oh, okay. I was like, are you trying to fucking tell me? I was like, Dylan? do you want to do you want to look up the word diligent? What does it mean? Because remember that one time that you thought of something else meant something and it didn't. <laughs> no, I thought you were saying be diligent for like being safe. Well, sure, but I'm really talking about like checking sure. on the check the website for those appointments and get your fucking vaccine. Period. We can eradicate this again. Like I don't even know why we're even doing this. I had a high moment last <laughs> night. <laughs> We can eradicate. I was like, he's going. Oh, Michael off. almost murdered me. First of all, I have an attitude problem, so I've got to adjust this. Yes. We'll talk about it in a second. But <laughs> I literally came down the stairs high, and you know when you're that when you're high and you like creep a little bit, you're like, ooh. Well, maybe you don't know, but if you are high out there and you creep a little bit, you're like, ooh, I'm feeling good. Like, and you kind of get like a little. You feel smart. You feel like you got things going. So I was like, Mike. <laughs> he's like, what? And I go, I just thought of something. Oh, is something wrong? Stopped recording. <gasps> and the milkers of the valley. Milkers of the valley. It's like, hello. My life. Tiptoeing around while high and you had yeah, something okay. going. You were like, my. That's where we have to. Ha. <clears throat> so I was like, do, 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 my. I was like, I just thought of something. And he goes, are you high? I'm like, yes. <laughs> but I just thought of something. He goes, okay. And I was like, why don't we ship all of our supplies to like poor countries first so that we can stop the disease there so that somebody can't get on an airplane and bring it here? Oh, wow. Deep. Now. Yeah. What? But not false. No. I mean. There were 600,000 stored in Denmark. Why don't we just send those 600,000 into South Africa and eradicate the goddamn motherfucker and be done? Yeah. West Africa should get vaccinated. But why are the vaccines? I don't know where these vaccines are. They're hidden in some storage unit in Denmark or something. And I'm like. You really. Yeah. You really thought through this. I did. Well, we know why we're not vaccinating the poor countries, so. Because we, yeah, because we're, <laughs> no but one. that's what I'm saying, There's though. not a lot of support for, like, let's spend billions of dollars to, like, help other people. Oh, except for, like, America. Ukraine. Well, they're white. Well, let's go to Taiwan. <laughs> like, no. hi, can we yeah. just focus on us real quick? I know we got to, like, have foreign <laughs> relations, but, like, Christ almighty. We need some foreign relations up in this bitch. Honey, we're going to send Nancy. She's dying. She's actively dying on the plane. Like, she's like, girl, like, I mean, how did they even get her over but there? She has her fucking her dialysis every weekend. Her tits. Oh, they're huge. That yeah. is news. And that. Nancy Pelosi's breasts. She's got some are, titties. I mean, these are these are mommy milkers. She's got tits in an attitude as well. She does. It's true. Wait, is she really on dialysis? No, I just made that up. Oh, okay, but I, I believe it. Soon. I was like, she is really. She's yeah. like eighty-eight. It's Alexa. How old is Nancy Pelosi? Nancy Pelosi is eighty-two years old. Well, eighty-eight, eighty-two. She's not as old as I thought. I actually thought she was older. <laughs> Either way, it's the age for diapers. Stop, Alexa. God damn. Stop interrupting. Everybody, all these technologies are just ruining everything. And before we get called ageist, we're not ageist, bitch. Okay, we just don't think you should be running in the government. We don't think at you should 82 be years running. Old. We no should one be... should be running the country if we won't even let them get hired for a job at like your local grocery store because they're too right. old to like stand all day or whatever the you hell. You know, your seventy-five-year-old parent that you don't want to deal with running? and you want to put them in just yeah. a home because they have a little wacky wacky they're running the country they're running the country like there's there because are, of you yeah people but like you vote for them it's true these little whores so so it's gotta i mean we've gotta stop we gotta stop like uh, so that was my high moment so but that this, was that was some good thoughts this comes on the heels of a full-blown mental breakdown Okay, so this and I'm gonna read exactly what I wrote because I got high, of course. After, or do you want to just? You should read it. I need to read this. So you're gonna read my version of what I was sad about and wrote in my book. This is what happened to Bobby. He cried and had a meltdown and had a self esteem moment of the podcast and said, "No one likes me." While bawling, <laughs> but after that came out with the conclusion that I'm still alive and crying shows how bad I want to just create and be loved. But also sad because I'm always looking for something. Now that was kind of weed journal, kind of like a. I love that. Yeah. So actually, that's fair. I think a lot true. of people do that. 
I had a like, you know what? full cry fit though. I haven't had one. In, I didn't even cry over my cousin's death, which I think that was part of it. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, a ding, ding. That's what we came up with last night when Mike was like, you're just not, you're just having an attitude. You have an attitude. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm going through a lot. Like, I think I'm just, I think I am. It's processing. You're I'm like processing. Kinda, yeah. So anyway, I'm processing life. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm even goddamn doing. you're being a nasty little bitch to everyone. I, I am. I am. I'm having an attitude with you everything. Are. I mean, everything. I'm like, ugh, ugh. Ugh. Like, does it have to be that serious? No. Mm -mm. Okay. That's why I smoke weed. Okay. Every day. Now, so, yeah. So, I'm at my bottom. So, you're so at rock bottom. I'm actually coming up, though. This week, I already Wait. felt better. I went and saw oh. space for the studio, potentially. Like, Oh, yeah, yeah. How did that, that go? Uh, I don't know if I like it, but there could be potential there eventually. I'm not going to rush it, because, like, why rush it? Mm -mm. I want a deal. I want to get in there. I want to fucking create. There's never a reason to rush. No rushing, except for this room's goddamn hot, so if we don't rush. We do have to rush through this episode, but. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there, I am, so, it's like 75 we're degrees out right now, so I don't know why it's we're going to so do a little segment. Here. And then we might have to take a little two minute yes, break. Agree. And cue, cool. That's a good idea. A cue. Okay. Um, okay. Did you want to tell us about a movie you watched no, recently? Do you want to? Do you have a story to tell, or are you just going to kind of go in about what? I don't know. Do you have anything that you wanted to discuss this week? That I mean, you got the monkeypox thing, but like, I just didn't know if we wanted to do kit, kitty cat, kitty cat, or do you want me to go all at once and then you can figure it out, or like? No, what? I don't. Let's think through. Oh, okay. You, I know you have stuff. I know you were a little whore. <laughs> I've been a good boy. Oh yeah, monkeypox is really straighten your ass out. It, I, it sucks. I'm like, I know. I'm I don't even make out with anyone like at the bar, and you know yeah, me. Yeah, you know right. I'm always. You're all out. about that mouth. Okay, I do have something that <laughs> actually is bothering the fuck out of me, and I hope we need to. Okay, let me see if I can find it on your phone. God damn it. Oh well. Okay, well. I'll just describe it. Okay, so describe what's happening on the. I'll find it. I'm gonna okay. find that bitch, and I'll post it right now. What people think about me? I think I'm gay. Where can I go to, you know, talk, I guess, specifically about queer stuff? Here is a popular recipe for seared duck. So I'm on Instagram and like regularly, like at least once every other day, I get an ad from BetterHelp. And it is it trying to tell you something? Oh, it is. Oh. It pops up this like, I assume do, a woman, do. like a feminine presenting person is walking around and she's like doing things and blah, blah, blah. And then do, she do. it just like two frames of that and then there's like so it's like 10 seconds in and then there's a pause and then she goes you know what I think I'm gay just out of that's the fucking that's the blue. goddamn commercial <laughs> out of the blue. I think Wait. I'm gay so she's like I'm sad I got better yes. help and now I'm gay I think I'm gay and then it's like well no wonder you're depressed girl and then honestly like I laugh so hard and then I can't finish it but like I've seen a, it's just like why is that the commercial I don't it's know. Like, and better help for all your through life's transitions for help. I think for all I, life. I feel like this much. They're selling I'm so high right now that the Munchkin <laughs> voice is in my head, but it's not. Does that make sense? Sorry. Kitty cat cat. Kitty cat. Um, that's so, so fucking it's like weird. Uh, corporations are now selling things to us just to be like, I think I'm gay. Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to Better Help, where you can come and find out what really you are. This week, we talked to a, a lesbian about how she figured it out. I think I'm gay. Have you been feeling sad lately? Oh my god, I'm a flaming. Do you feel like munching on carpets? What are your thoughts on cats? And maybe some woodwork? How about a Subaru and, and a trip to Oregon or Alaska? I think I'm gay. Have you ever felt sad because your snatch hasn't been eaten? And it's like, now, <sighs> get therapy if you need therapy. That I'm fine with that. But this commercial just rubs me the wrong way. It doesn't rub me the it right way. It doesn't rub on the clit. It rubs on the <laughs> on the mouth. Oh. Ew. Ew. I don't want your monkey pox. Stop. I don't want your monkey pox. Oh, honey, I'm least likely to have it in this You room. still have a 25... Oh, sorry, that was disgusting. <laughs> Why did you just smell I don't your know, own cause burp? Because I, I was nervous. This is like how all men touch their crotch and smell it. Do you know everybody does that? We've Even talked about women. it. Everybody smells their body and all those weird crevices. And like everybody acts like they're not, but they are. Like grab their hand once, just randomly no, and, and yeah, smell it. It's and they won't smell let like you. crotch. They won't let you because they'll know it smells like crotch. It's a very uh, humanistic situation. Speaking of humans and speaking of life and speaking of 
everything everywhere all at once. You're sweating a lot. I'm sweating, but we just need to like have Let's a moment. Get Let's sit, sit in peace. Shh, everyone, shim -a everyone go back to their seats. Shim -a 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 -a. Shim up, shim up. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we should prank call somebody this with this. You're like, um, Mike, I've been Hi. thinking of something. Oh, my pussy is just <laughs> wet. <laughs> you're such a dirty freak. I want to fuck. I want to touch my um. <laughs> Do you want me to touch? No, I want. I want to touch um. I can't think when it's like echoing in here because it's a little delayed. <laughs> clit, clit. Do you want to fuck my clit? <laughs> Do you want to rub my little man in the boat? Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I want to suck up. <laughs> no, that's the truth. And that's the tea. And that's Munchkin Hour. Oh, <laughs> that's is that illegal? That's the tea. chipmunks. <laughs> Not I, munch. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was like, I'm a chipmunk, not a human. I'm like, I'm a munch. Munch. <laughs> Which I think went on a date in 1940. You think it's the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> they want us to go to the Wizard of Oz to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. This is literally the Munchkin voice, right? But they were we real. We represent the Lollipop Guild. The Lollipop Guild. Wait, were they the real? Lollipop. Yeah. I thought those were like kids. Honey. Oh, those were dwarves. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's rude. That's how they got, like, that was like the first ever Little People Big World. <laughs> <laughs> Little People Big World. Little People Big World. Oh, uh, they Little people divorced. <laughs> I know. And now they're buried. They're both married to a regular sized person. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's really like I'm sorry. Okay, hey, this is, I gotta get serious. Okay, I can't. Oh, you turned it off. Okay, we'll just have a serious <laughs> shit moment real quick. I, I gotta get serious. But no, like, can I just say something without getting in trouble? <laughs> I think so. I don't know how um, little people get dates with big people <laughs> because I just don't. Because you think, like, their Tinder profile is, like, a blank square with just the top of their hair? Yeah, but, like, why Why would you... <laughs> I mean, is that shallow as fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. I'm sorry. I feel like the little people in big world people are just famous, so people are sleeping with them because they want to be famous, <laughs> not because they're hot or, like, they want to be with them. You were thinking it. I said it. Jade Thinny. Finding <laughs> it. Jade Thinny. Okay. So, Okay. <laughs> I'm dead. This is like a disaster. So your better help ad. Okay. Um, oh, you wanted to transition. Sorry. Better help. But I did. What am I doing? Where are we going? Hello? <laughs> the movie you wanted to talk about. I'm not going to talk about it because I want, I'm want. i going to talk about what the movie, but I'm not going to give anything away. But I'm Good. just going to say that the movie, everything, everywhere, all at once changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> the way you almost said it completely wrong changed mine. It's really hard to say. I'm like kind of sick of the title, lot. to You're be like, honest. I'm like everything, everywhere, all at once. Everything, everywhere, everything, all at once. What is it? I don't even know. Everything, everywhere. It is it's... like one of the best movies I have ever seen. Now, I've heard this from other people. It is the most interesting film I have ever seen. Like, there's no rhyme or reason to a lot of it, but there is. It's one of those where you're like, what the fuck is going on? But then you're like, oh, my God. Every like yeah. So anyway, so I, I that movie I cried. Um yeah. We're after yeah. Oh, you're really going through it. Yeah. Between the attitude and this sobbing out of movie. Oh yeah. So that's the other thing. So I've cried twice in the past week, and I've had attitude problems. It's 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 called it, grief. It's called grief, and I'm you're grieving. I'm grieving. So it's just I'm one of the you're stages. a griever. But yeah. So I was I'm high as fuck in the basement, bawling my eyes out. Oh my okay. God. Michael's just yeah. And I go stone face. Wasn't that good? He's like. Like, oh, he I'm, won't get it. I can't watch movies with him. It's got to be like it's like Matt's not gonna get it. Like you don't, you yeah. might as well not even waste your time. Yeah. Like no offense to our partners, but like you gotta, it's you gotta be one of those people who like like You're Inception. Like, uh, you know oh, Inception, yeah, very similar, See, okay. very similar to that in that, that same vein. So anyway, I watched that movie and I absolutely love it. And I, the other thing about it that's really cool though is that it is independent filmmakers that made it. So like they literally just came up with this and then started making it during the pandemic. To the point where the editors like edited all through the pandemic at their houses, and there's only five editors, and there's over 500 scenes 
of editing. I mean, the editing is incredible. That's I've been crazy. trying to do some a little bit on my on my camera for this week's episode in the openings. What I that's do. insane. It's stupid. Like, and it's like low budget, but then like they're making so much money. There's so many good people in it. <sighs> I you can't. have to watch it. Like, I mean, I'm talking soon. I can't do this with. I can't do Maybe this anymore. I think tonight is a possibility. I mean, I I absolutely adore it. Fedora. It. <laughs> fedora. <laughs> if you put a fedora on, no, you'll be beautiful. What? Speaking of beautiful, I have another thing to talk about. I have a lot this week. I'm really sorry. I'm like, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm taking over. Maybe like you it. should say something. I'm going through a rough period with some f- friends. Are you? <laughs> oh yeah. Hi. Oh yeah. You just smelt your own burp too. No, I was just. Oh, like, replay will show it. I did not. I was like, you go. Because that was gross. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I love the smell of my own ripe balls. We all love our own brand, too. That's the weird thing as well. Do we? I think that's probably like um, it's something that we acquired throughout the years. We evolved into just not worrying about our own smell because if we were we wouldn't be able to get stuff done if we were worried about our own smell, like when we didn't have showers and stuff. True. So like you can smell your own brand. Period. I love that you call it your own brand, not like scent or something. It's your brand. It's your brand. That's like a southern thing. Is that a southern thing? I think so. It has to be because I've never heard anyone else describe scent as a brand. Yeah. Why are you having problems? Well, they're having problems. You know when you get brought into the middle of something that you don't want to be in the middle of? Where like Is the whole group like, is there a, like two key uh, players? that are two key. They're boyfriends. And <laughs> oh, they're the key players. Okay. So I have the one friend and then I have the new friend who's the boyfriend and they're both a little. This is in German, um, boy, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Same one is the one who never put pepper on a salad. Um, you know. Or Weird, ha- he's having a hard time adjusting to Columbus <laughs> from jumping right from the sticks to now like full gay on monkeypox. Like, I mean, no oh my wonder. God. Yeah, it's actually he's, you know, he a- they're both having trouble, and so I have to hear the stories of how. He Aren't did, they in a new he relationship? Said, he said he said yeah. It's been like a year. I know if you're fighting this much in a year, I told them both. I was like, it's time. It's time to break up. Or that's my advice. Yeah, I, I just or go to counseling. Maybe. Yeah, and I said that until some more recent developments. I was like, maybe counseling will help. And then, like, just hearing the latest round of stories, I'm going, nope, not even counseling. There's not even counseling. So it's, it's already over before yeah. it's even really. Okay. Right. It's so like they're it's, just waiting to, like, crush each other's lives and dreams before they finally say, maybe we shouldn't be maybe together. Maybe we shouldn't be together. Got and there's a lot of people doing that oh, a lot right of people now. Like, currently. You know what? Maybe I'll just hide every part of myself and live in shame and be with this person. Yeah. Like why? A lot of people lose the one thing I think is really good about us, honestly, and this is like not a joke. Like I know we joke a lot. I know, like, and I know you have an attitude, but I'm working on my tune. Um, is we are pretty independent from our spouses. Though. Like a hundred percent. Like we like I don't understand how people are around their person all the time. Like get away from me, get away from no, me. I need to breathe. I like, would absolutely lose my mind. And like Matt me and you that. go on vacations and like yeah. whoop it up, honey. Like. Bye. Which now we have to put that on the back burner until this monkeypox gets under control. Because I'm not doing do, it. I can't we won't stress. Do anything fun now. So here we go again. You, we can't go. You can't even go camping. Like it's. I know, and they they it's sold out. Oh my god. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. It sucks. I'm like, oh. well, but I do want to go camping again. I do too. I want, I to, want go. to go. I want to go so bad. But like I'm I want to hold a. I just know if I go camping, what I will do is right, I will want to go when it's clear. People, you want to go like, and monkeypox is down to like, like yeah. But when you think about it, though, there's only 15 people here that have been diagnosed. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bit. So your chances Don't are put that in my head because I'm true. really I'm not like if you I'm have getting a little up, antsy. You need to get fucking vaccinated. I love how you just got everybody on. Board. I was like, everyone's getting fucking vaccinated. round of all the whore friends that I have and get them to the goddamn clinic. If you've ever touched a dick, you're getting vaccinated. And honestly, when they ask me the question, I'm gonna say I touch multiple oh. people. I have to. That was probably how HIV was. Yeah. Okay. So, but then, wait, but then your friends, you were talking about your friends. Oh, like, okay. What are we going to do? Like, what's the solution to your problem so here? So, my solution is just be real, and that's why I told them break up. But are you going to keep saying, are you going to get out of it then at this point? Are you yeah. going to be like, don't talk to me about it, I don't want to yeah. talk about it? I was like. Now, I've have get, you seen the German's dick? Uh, I haven't seen it. I felt it <laughs> while engorged. Was it like a. I felt like I it's just big. I saw a squash in my head for some reason or like a gourd. Yeah, that would be fair. A big thick I know, yeah. farmer boy. Farmer boy. Farmer boy. And he's tall, so it's like he's tall, it's proportional, and it's yeah, thick. Thick meat. A thick old dong. But he's a big bottom. You know, he's one Both of those hung bottoms. All the hung bottoms. Yeah, I know. Never get to use them. Okay. All those hung bottoms. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot. I have something that's gonna blow your mind though, seriously. Okay. Like I just gotta say this. 
So again, I was high. Okay. And Michael was in the kitchen and we were talking about brain tumors for a random. And I was uh, like, Mike, get ready. I get ready. I don't think I am, but Mike, can you fill this bump? I think it's a brain tumor. I never, I'm, I'm admitting, I have never <laughs> known. I do know, but like, <laughs> where's that the it's brain? under your goddamn skull. Right. Where's the brain? I've been checking for bumps on my head for <laughs> years, being like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Why are you in the shower? You're like, oh, no. I'd be it's like, oh wait, is it a tumor? I was like, no. I can, <laughs> I can press it, and I can like, oh, maybe it's just like an ingrown hair. Isn't that horrifyingly sad? <laughs> is that like the worst thing you ever heard in your that's entire life? That's actually the worst thing I've ever heard. Like yeah. I was like, like that's, and of course I'm high at this time. So I go, like, wait. <laughs> so wait, like, what oh my. He, what did he even say? He he goes. He did this whole. Like, yeah, he was like, wait, and I go. What? And he's like, you mean to tell me, like, what, can you say that again? Like, he couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe I was saying it. I'm like, I just can't. <laughs> like, Sorry, I did think that. Yeah, the brain is inside the skull. So if it's so you a won't tumor even know it's brain, a goddamn tumor on your brain. That's the problem. Like, Oops. Yeah, you don't feel it. You might have a big old tumor right now in there. Well, and it's going to start pressing against my skull. I think I, yeah. well, I have a muscle right here that's like pulled. That's what started this whole thing. Huh. Yeah. So anyway, that's a disaster. Um, so I decided to share that embarrassing moment with you. That is, um, yep, it's horrifying. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> that's bad. I would say bad. The word is bad. But is it as bad as some other? The game? Lord. Is it as bad as the Lord? The Lord. The Lord's obsession. We do with, have a lot to talk the about. The Lord was Lord. obsessed with penises. He what? Like, Dicks we'll, we'll get and murder. to that. We're gonna get to that. I think we're gonna get to it. We're gonna oh. uh, we're gonna do a reaction. Okay. It's a it's seven minutes long. But okay. it's a cartoon from 1950. Should we react like this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Crank that bitch up. Fuck it. Soup so bad. Oh. Everybody, you. Now watch me, you. <laughs> it's called Betty Boo Poor Cinderella. Oh no. We can watch just some of it. Now. Oh. Okay, let's stop. Let's this somewhere. Da, 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 da. Betty Boop and poor Cinderella. Ooh. We could sing on this. <laughs> we sound like ghosts. <laughs> I mean, how many fucking early credits do we need? <laughs> Seriously, like, let's I go. I think they used to put it first in the old one movie. They make you watch yeah. to get it. Uh, oh. This is called Poor Cinderella. Okay. Yeah. Those people look like Pinocchio. Oh. Okay. Oh, no cover charge. No Honey, cover. we're going to the club. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the king's house. Honey, we're going to the king's lair. Oh, there's that whore. There she is. She's a slut. She was like a pinup for soldiers during the war. But she's also um trash. Did you know that? No. She was trash. Like, what do you mean? White trash. trash. Oh, is that what the point of her was? Yeah. She was like a flapper. Like, I love how back in the day I was like, me and a pouty, me oh. and a pouty. <laughs> Those little lips are like, you're like, perched. I'm just nobody. I have to clean the house. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put on my trashy blanket. Yeah, like, honey, you have holes in the blanket. Oh, oh. Oh. Is no, the, I didn't know this was a The broom is walking. Oh, okay. Is that a copy of Fantasia? What? Or is it before? Prior. My good God. My good God, this is 1934. <gasps> I think it is. Yeah. Wait, we have to look that up. Fantasia thinks the 60s. Oh, I'm going to freak out. Okay, girl, like, let's skip up a little. Like, is she just sing this whole time? Oh. Oh, uh, we get to see the evil stepmother. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's the sisters. sisters. Now, they're darker in color. <laughs> I was gonna say, something's different. Yeah. So they're evil. Because they're. The poor white girl has to go black. brush the stuff. While the natives. This is getting worse. Yeah, so she's doing hard labor all day long. Sprinkling. Plant char. Parmesan cheese on things in the diary. On daddy's. Uh, oh, uh, ew. Here they go with massive asses, if you notice. Like the 
I hope you enjoy the pool. I hope you enjoy the pool. The pool. Like, get... Oh, that's a big one. Loves me. <laughs> She's a... <gasps> the candle loves you, honey. Oh, <gasps> it's a fairy godmother. Or a oh, bishop. Wait. Looks like a bishop. Ma'am, wake up. Pretty Cinderella, you're unhappy. This is like Wizard of Oz. I'm it's your like Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn? Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. We should know where the munchkins. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is boring. I mean, I Like, I thought there'd be more dialogue. I know, right? A large one, my dear. Six mice and two lizards and one. bring them right here. Oh, so another thing you have to do for somebody to get something you want. Got it. Okay, Go God. collect the mice. Go collect all the animals. Seven clean ones, two unclean. Oh, what's she looking for now? A pumpkin. And rats. She just has rats in her basement just stored away. In a cage. I'm going to turn these horses. And this oh. pumpkin carriage. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, let's just get to the end. Because this is boring as fuck. Sorry. Okay. <gasps> She's being courted by this. Oh, this is the best part. Is it? I want this to happen to now, me. Now, was he hung? No. Honey. <sighs> Honey? <gasps> She's going to turn into a pumpkin. Oh, or into a ratty trash box. <gasps> Her slipper. Uh, I mean, for being 1934, this is not bad. Like, yeah. For you real. can tell now that, like, they literally had, like, no movement other than the characters. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. Like, it's. You know how long that took them to make that? Like, maybe four weeks. <laughs> Sorry. Who was that beautiful maiden? Have you no tongues? That I and the prince do now declare. Oh no, it's the box. Oh fuck, now it's COVID. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, now that's how you get monkeypox. Literally, like, oh, stop shit. putting your foot in the same shoe. So why are they all orange? Um, that's the other thing. It's like they're making them seem bad. Yeah. Like, oh, these aren't the, the good ones. The only good one's the white girl. Yeah, this is fucked up. <gasps> they are all dark. No, it doesn't fit my big foot. Where is she? Where could she be? Go look at the uh, little cab cabin where she's doing mopping. Ew. Yeah, monkey pop. Oh, Betty. Oh, um, okay, they got married. Okay. Like, your well, turn. Let me uh, just go over something. Yeah, like, okay. Now, um, how? I'm trying to stop this dumb I was like, thing. I can't stand that. How is there no other woman with the same size shoe when, like, most people have similar shoe size? Size, 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 size. But that, isn't it hard to talk? Sometimes you <laughs> yeah, lose your train like, of thought. Shoe size, size? Shoes. 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 I have a theory. You have a fairy? Theory. <laughs> The theory is, is that women of native culture had bigger feet than white girls. So to me, them being darker, they're not as good. They have a bigger fucking... Big old honker. Honker shoe. So this little uh, Betty Boop is going to fit that little mold because she's white. And, and she's so, lily white. But she's they're trying to predict her... Predict her? depict her as like this poor girl, this poor white She's girl. She's being abused. Meanwhile, all of the people, the characters there, they all were not invited to the ball. Okay, like, in real life. It was like fully reversed in real life. Fully reversed like, in real life. You know who wasn't invited to the ball? All of those people. All of the natives. Oh, honey. Honey, so that's our first, uh, I wanted to start a new thing, so like a little reaction art. But yeah. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna look at like old cartoons, old stuff. We can just judge. This is so good. Okay. So that's that. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. All right I loved on. it. Moving okay. On. Moving on. Moving on. Um, the Reddit. I asked people on Reddit a question. Okay. You, I'm gonna. I'll ask, love this. Yeah, I did a lot of research this week. Honey, like, this I'm is insane. All like it. this is insane. So um, I asked Reddit today. Uh, this week, I was like, I'm gonna go on Reddit and ask the um, gay bros over 30. There's like people that ask questions about anything. So I decided to yeah. ask, what is your reasoning for believing in God or not believing in God? 
And so I got some things. And the first one is the best quote I've ever heard in my life and is exactly what I've always wanted to explain. <laughs> I could never just say it right. This is it. Go ahead and read the first little tab there. Okay. Or whatever it's called. It, Bolton. This person said, Christianity is a cesspool of people collected at their lowest moments, brainwashed and discarding personal responsibility by believing it's through him I receive strength. <laughs> Do we need to redo that? Let's redo that. Okay. okay. And the best quote goes to, uh, I don't know what his name was. Username unknown. It says, Christianity is a cesspool of people collected at their lowest moments, <laughs> brainwashed and discarding personal responsibility by believing <clears throat> it's through him I receive strength. <laughs> I can't because the word what cesspool is What a goddamn is disaster. You're like, oh, yeah. But it is. like, I like They're like, you just did the worst sin of it. You're a murderer. You better pray. And they're like, I you love can God. pray and it goes away. They're like, but that's literally what it is. Oh, you did something bad? Well, it's gone. Just pray to God. And then they're still Except doing it behind. Jesus as your savior and you will not have sin. Yeah. But yeah, it's like always this question. You're like, no, you're a, you're a bad person still just because you're a Christian. You're I've always said it's always person. porn addicts, alcoholics, yeah. drug addicts, uh, divorcees, cheaters. They're all the ones that are all religious. Yes. Sorry. The most religious. The ones that are like crazy yeah. religious where they're like, the Lord is here to protect you. And you're like, you're um, like weren't you blacked hi. out yesterday? Yeah. Didn't you just like get out of the meth clinic? Like, yeah. <laughs> literally. Okay. It's so you true. Found God. Okay. Got it. Okay, Your higher power. You're like, have you? Do you know Jesus Christ? Right. I've, I've been asked that question where people are like trying to save me, and I'm oh, like, I try to get. I almost I'm got like, saved on Facebook. No, thank right. you. One time I was like, back when I was like more religious, I was like, well, I'm Catholic, and they're like, that's not true saving. That's a false religion. Yeah, well, I was like, Here try we to be go. in the south. Yeah, I'm like, right. Everybody, like, there's Catholic? no Catholics. So they're like, are you saved? I'm like, saved from what? Literally, my dad got mad at my sister. I think my dad or maybe my mom. She got saved at. Um, she went to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She went to like some like. It was a club that was like sports, but it was like Christian athletes, fellow FLSA or FS. Those little fuckers are all popular kids. Yeah. They all went because they were popular. But my sister, they were like, who isn't saved? My sister raised her hand and got saved. Okay. Well, you are Catholic and you're confirmed, but okay. Do you, girl? I cannot. I'm like, this is so dumb. It's all pretend. But my parents were like, what are you fucking doing? I'm like, what are you doing exactly? (laughs) Like, you're not living by this book either. Someone else said, the reason for believing is simply to understand that God can be a lot of things. The Bible shows all kinds of relationships with God. God. I think Christianity has set me back as a person in this world, but I also think it's worth reconciling the relationship of what I thought God was through the church and what I think or know God is in my mind. A lot of the people basically said that they don't believe in God anymore, and it's either based on religion or yeah. based on there's no proof. You can't prove it or unprove it, really, is the is the problem, is that when you can't prove it or unprove it, then it's really probably not real. Yeah, exactly. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't go either way. So it's like, oh, okay. Okay, so... So this is all... Like, but you're going to go to hell. I'm like... So there could be unicorns out there in some form somewhere you can't prove that there aren't right harry potter's real like we can't prove that it's not i mean we wouldn't see them because we're muggles that's right we're so, gryffindors we're Griff- gryffindors yes doors yeah uh, yeah it's, so that's, those are great just interesting yeah i'll put some of these like little yeah. quotes up as we're like talking about it but yeah so i wanted to get that out of the way if y'all's god is real it thrives on cruelty and we've been discussing that and wow. that's that's kind of the whole thing it's like yeah we well god keep, did thrive on cruelty back in genesis like literally he's killed everybody in every story we've read and he, he threatens over just to, to love him yeah. what he's like if you're not worshiping me you don't love me Oh, like, I thought you were all powerful. Like, why do you need people to love you? First of all, you're in. Why do you need people to um, worship you? Right. Like, why what you is just, that about? Why? Oh, yeah. Like, why don't you just exist out there and relax and like just you just chill, dude. Ignore us. We ignore don't, us. Look, we ignore every you. time. Every, yeah, we ignore you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we're going to hell. We're going to uh, hell. And okay. if it's sorry, God, if you're real. Um, uh, but yeah, if we do come up there and you're real, like we we apologize. Well, honestly, like everybody has. to. That's why people get religious right in their deathbed. They're yeah. like, yeah. Oh my God! The what? Lord's taking him, and I'm like, I bless me, blessed be the father of the fruit. Blessed like, be my fruit. Okay. I think maybe you should read this. I know. Okay. Are you up to reading I it? I think I can do it. It's a it's a little long, but not like it seems long, but it's it's not that bad. Oh Lord. Okay. Oh Lord. Warning: We're about to talk about cutting dick. I love just the tip. This is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Genesis 17. The Covenant of Circumcision. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. Then I will make my covenant between you and me and will greatly increase your numbers. Abram fell face down and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abram. Your name will be Abraham. For I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you very fruitful. I will make nations of you. 
and kings will come from you. I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come, to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. <laughs> This is so it's not, bizarre. It's, it's just like repeated over and over. It's I'm the like, same shit. He's, he's like, like, I'm going to make you of nation. He's like, please, please love the me. The God of you and your descendants. Also the God of your descendants. <laughs> like, okay. I mean. The whole land of Canaan, where you now reside as a foreigner, I will give you as an everlasting possession to you and your descendants after you. Got it. And I will be their God. Why did he just say that four times? Literally. It's dumb. Then God said to Abraham, <laughs> as for you, you must keep my covenant, you and your descendants after you for the generations to come. This is my covenant with you and your descendants. <laughs> I cannot. Why is it repeating itself? God is an has idiot. dementia. I think God has dementia. Uh, God has dementia. Like he's probably He's so literally old. repeating himself. It's like you're we're like, reading the same line four times. You're like, after you. you know what I didn't get it as a kid? I'm like, oh, This okay. is my covenant with you and your descendants after you. The covenant you are to keep. <laughs> Every male among you shall be circumcised. You are to undergo circumcision and will be the sign of the covenant between me and you for the generations to come. Every male among you who is eight days old must be circumcised, <laughs> including those born in your household or bought with money from a foreigner. <laughs> 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 or if it's a slave, like you can't yeah, make this up. You gotta circumcise the slaves you buy too. <sighs> Those who are not your offspring, whether born in your household or bought with your money, they must be circumcised. God, what was that? God, you want me to chop off my foreskin? This whole thing. <laughs> My covenant in your flesh is to be an everlasting covenant. Any uncircumcised male who has not been circumcised in the flesh, that's what uncircumcised means, will be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. God also said to Abraham, as for Sarai, your wife, you are no longer to call her Sarai. Her name will be Sarah. Honey, I'm home. Your name's been changed to Sarah. Uh, God wants you to cut my little cock. Uh, good luck. <laughs> I really don't care what you do that di that dick, okay? I don't really care what you do with that dick. We know there's a lot of extra skin, though. It should be fine. Ew, uh, gross. I will bless her and will surely give you a son by her. I will bless her so that she will be the mother of nations. Kings of peoples will come from her. Abraham fell face down. He laughed and said to himself. He's falling face down. He, he was already face down. You're right. It's like, <sighs> he laughed and said to himself, will a son be born to a man a hundred years old? Will Sarah bear a child at the age of 90? If you think for any second that I'm going to have another baby out of this snatch, honey, what's the lubrication? The lubrication. Sarah, we're going to use the milk of a scorpion to lube up your pussy. It's God, fellow. You sure you should be hanging around him? He's a little wacky, if you will. And Abraham said to God, if only Ishmael might live under your blessing. Then God said, yes, but your wife Sarah will bear you a son and you will call him Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant. We shed for you and for all the sins we've forgiven. <laughs> for his descendants after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard you. I will surely bless him. I will make him fruitful and will greatly increase his numbers. He will be the father of 12 rulers and I will make him into a great nation. But my covenant I will establish with Isaac, whom Sarah will bear to you by this time next year. When he had finished speaking with Abraham, God went up from him. So apparently God's like that hanging out of the face. Okay. Like, okay. No wonder he's face down. Yeah. <laughs> On that very day, Abraham took his son Ishmael and all those born in his household or bought with his money. <laughs> so a slave. Uh. <laughs> Literally slave. <laughs> Fellas, gather around. We're chopping dicks today. Boys, listen to your father. You're going to hear dicks chopped off. Every male in his household and circumcised them as God told him. So everyone got their foreskins chopped off as adults. Just the tip. I'm going to literally. I would die. Like, I'm Abraham was 99 years old when he was circumcised. <laughs> like, <laughs> you I, know that foreskin was like a wizard fact. sleeve oh, just flapping around. Uh, and his son Ishmael was 13. Why do we need another age? Here we go again. Abraham and his son Ishmael were both circumcised on that very day. And every male in Abraham's household, including those born in his household or bought from a <laughs> foreigner. I love that they're specifying over and over like the slaves also. Slaves. Was circumcised with him. Now. <laughs> Now, ma'am. Now, ma'am. Now, ma'am. Uh, There's a lot to unpack. Like, A, why? <laughs> Literally, why was that the thing? Why was like... penises being circumcised? <laughs> well, the thing that God was like, you better fucking do it or you will, you'll not bear the kings of the world. It's like God's kind of like a perv. Like, he's obsessed like he with He sounds dicks. like a psychopath. He comes down, he's like, I want to see that I dick. See and that I want to head. That head needs to be out Get the whole that time. head out. I don't want to see that old thing. But, like, can you thing. believe that, though? Like, no. I was like, why in the fuck is this in the yeah, Bible? Like, why was this the thing? 
And then why are slaves like he's like also circumcise, your slaves. circumcise the slaves too, Abraham. Just get them all chopped. I feel like this book is a disease. It, it is. is like it is horrifying. It, it's like, the symptom of yeah. So we okay. So in this statement though, at this very moment, if if you are uncircumcised and you believe in Jesus and this is the covenant and that we're all basically from right. Abraham and you aren't circumcised, what is and you're like But you think you're a Christian. You're not. If you're you, not following the covenant. Yeah, if you're in one of these religions that came from Abraham, whether you're a Jew, Christian, or Muslim, like you're supposed to be circumcised. Sorry. And there's all these men who are Christians who are not. And I'm right. going, did you read the Bible? If like, you're going to take the literal part in Leviticus about me yeah. slaying with a man or whatever, right. then we need to talk about your, your uncut cock. Because there's a lot of uncut cocks. A lot that of are uncut. Christian. A lot of Christian uncuts. And honestly, I'm tired God wouldn't of it. want us to. Yeah. Um, no. Page two. Honey. Page page 17. He wants you to cut your penis. Like, don't give me that bullshit. Like, right. Like, this is God. This is natural. No. no it's no, actually. No. No. No, no. He um, said to be in his covenant. So anyway, if you're it's not, ridiculous. if you're on cut, you're not part of God. Sorry. Yeah. Get out. Get out. Literally. Get stop out, calling. Because that's basically what the Bible's saying. That's what the Bible says. Literally. Well. I guess if we can't be gay, you can't be you uncircumcised. You can't be uncircumcised. So cut them off, boys. Cut, cut them off. off. Cut off those. While sleeves. you're at it, just cut off the whole dick. Actually, because we're tired of you. Um, <laughs> yeah, cut it off. Cut it off. I, don't you think it's so weird though? I'm not no, even kidding. Like, like I think it's bizarre as fuck. Like it's, it's weird. It's insane that it's that was the weird. thing. That was it's the thing. Weird. It's weird. At 100 years old, you have to get your dick cut off. Like, but that's the covenant, and you better keep my covenant. Oh, excuse me. You're gonna. I have to cut my penis. Why? Like why? For you. Like what in the fuck what are we of, doing here? But this is the supreme. Ruler of the universe. I'm going like, to send these stories to my parents yeah. every week. I'm going to be like, here's another Bible study. Read it. Let Go me know ahead. what you think. Tell me what you think. Go ahead, Daddy. Are you cut? Well, uh, yeah. Who knows? I guess. Daddy, are you cut? Daddy, are you cut or you're not a Christian? <laughs> Title. That sounds like a really bad porno. Like, Daddy, are you cut? Coworker, are you cut? Um. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways. I know the one. I know the one. Um. All right. So, so yeah. So. Now we have our Fifth Amendment, since That's we're right. doing the amendments. This is from the Bill of Rights. That's right. The amendment was proposed by Congress in 1789. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury, except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia. <laughs> when like in the actual, Bible. Yeah, it's just like the Bible. It's literally like the Bible. When in actual service in time of war or public danger, nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb. Nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. In summary, the Fifth Amendment includes... Allowing people to be indicted by a grand jury before going to trial. Protecting against being made to answer more than once for the same crime. Double jeopardy. Good movie. Allowing people to movie. keep from self-incriminating. And the right to fair treatment by the court system, a.k.a. This one seems a little more. They're all they're all like boring, and if we're being honest, yeah. this basically protects you from that being mean, accused like, yeah. without a a just trial. Right, like you can't go to jail unless you've been through a trial. And I wanted to explain a grand jury to people because I think a lot of people don't understand what that means. Yeah, um, a grand jury is when the prosecutor decides if he's going to take on the case or not. Because there's a lot of them going around based right on now. evidence. So like a lot of Trump people are facing some grand juries. Correct. So what's happening in the yeah? So that right now. What's his name? Garrett. Merrick Garland. Merrick Garland. He's deciding if he's going to prosecute Donald Trump based on the committee's findings. findings. And then they're going to, yep. yeah, they're presenting them to a grand jury to say, like, is this a case? Can we indict him? And so. And then once it, you're indicted, you go to trial. So that's why when you vote in your prosecutor, your local prosecutor. That's why it matters. That's why it's really important, because if this person's a dick, he's not going to go after cases that should be tried and vice versa. Like. If one of us gets hate crime, and we have a Franklin like, County mm, prosecutor who's like, I don't think so. I don't think it's a hate crime. I'm gonna, like, yeah, no, we're not gonna go ahead and pursue this. The county's not gonna, we're not gonna put money towards. You're excuse like, excuse me, you're not even gonna pursue it at all, probably. The government's dumb as fuck. And again, um, uh, there was voting this week, and I had nobody to vote for because everything was automatically in. Yeah, and I'm like, so we spent 250 million dollars, or how 25 million dollars? 25 million dollars for this primary for what? I for me to stand there and bubble had, in one number? I had four things to vote on, like four. I'm it was done. like boom, 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 boom. I'm it, like, they is that are it? The, they are is that so it? trash. Yeah, like 25 million from because Republicans didn't like the maps. It's horrifying. It's horrible. It's nasty. And honestly, honestly, you're nasty. You're a nasty bitch. So anyway, don't ever go, get 
in trouble so you don't have to deal with a grand jury or a jury or a trial or but what I do think is funny is double jeopardy. I think that's a very interesting clause. Yeah. I'm like, wondering what if they why made a mistake? You just have to get through one trial and then you can't be your tried again for the same crime. Even if you admit it after that, you can't be tried again. Literally. You're like, yeah, I did do it. <laughs> and I think there's a statute of limitations like 25 years. So like, oh yeah, I murdered 25 years ago, but they good. They good. We good. I found God. I found God. I'm a Christian now and I cut my, my, and then they're off. the ones that are like, yeah, <laughs> but you guys need to pray. It's like, honey, you murdered somebody. Um, Okay, well, I, I do have a big sundry, so sundry? we need to get to it, yeah, and I, I, I am about to go the fuck off. I'm not ready. And this is part of my attitude this week, but sorry, this rubbed me the wrong fucking way. Demi Lovato, <laughs> you little dumb fucking bitch, wants to sit here and overdose on drugs, <laughs> look like a goddamn asshole and idiot, come out of rehab being like, I know what my problem is, I'm a they them, go do all this they them <laughs> shit, hang out with all these they thems, totally like alienate herself to then swing back around and say, which she obviously has no fucking idea what she's talking about. Cause she's like, I'm feeling more feminine. So now I'm a, I'm a, she, her again. Okay. <laughs> Femininity and masculinity have nothing to do with actually you the binary or anything like that. And that's, that's number one problem. You are the problem with explaining what this is. And this just looks stupid. We look <laughs> stupid. We do. It's like, oh, God, we got to have all these rights for all these people. And then we have people like Demi Lovato, who was on Disney. And all these parents are like, these LGBTQs aren't real. See, I told you it was a face. Look at Demi. <gasps> I'm Actually, off. I, I, do, I do worry kind of about that because it's like, it's going to, I want to say like, stop making announcements. No like, offense, but it's literally about to, it, we're about to flip flop. It's about to flip flop, yeah, folks. I'm getting nervous I because am too. the people who were barely on board with they, them and are like now going, wait a well, minute. So, so she didn't want it. So why are you going to like allow my kid to transition when it's, I'm, I'm telling you. I get worried that they think like, so pronouns are important to you then if you can just go back. But I mean, non-binary people do use like. He they sure. She, they. I just think it's she because just, of her and her stature. She needs. Right. To, she knows, but she needs to know better. And yeah. whoever publicist says needs to get fired because she did say that she was like, I'm feeling more she her now. I'm like, oh, okay, well that's fine. But like, that's fine. I don't give a fuck if you give feel a, like up down. Don't I don't give a fuck it or just like talk about it better. I don't care if you feel like a fucking pig, Demi. Like, why doesn't she say pronouns don't? But you can use whatever pronouns you want. That would be a better way to say, like, yeah. If she really doesn't care, like, if she's right. feeling masculine one day, I guess maybe she doesn't want he, him. Like, I'm not sure, really. I haven't talked to her. But it's I'm not all very, it's a lot. It's a lot. She's a dumb bitch. And I cannot even believe that. And I'm going to actually, I think there was an interview, so I'm going to try to find a clip and post it. But, like, uh, guys, well, gals. Well, we ladies, knew she was a DB them. probably from the well, frozen yogurt thing. Well, but that alone, to me, I mean, she could not be a drug addict. She could not be non-binary. She could be just and, that would be like, oh, really? And oh, I know, really? yeah, and I know I'm a little harsh, like by saying, oh, you, but I really do feel like that is how she's getting out of the fact that she overdosed and caused a lot of people pain is by saying, well, I was in pain because my gender. And it's like, oh, OK. And but now, OK, so that doesn't but the first thing you say it. is I feel feminine, but that doesn't make you a woman. You fucking idiots. And I've learned that over the years. you become feminine. Honey, I'm a feminist You're, with these tits coming out. You look very feminine. Honey, I'm going to put a bra on. Hopefully. Fuck me. Oh, he put push them together. I'll be like, hey, daddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know um, that's, yeah, so, that's such an that's an important sundry is like we need some clarification we need some better messaging we need basically the anyone, branding is off we need anyone other than Demi Lovato to do this like right. she's she's just the worst person to be like the worst human like all these bad things are being associated with being non-binary now right like oh the, the most famous non-binary person I know well, is Demi. Demi Lovato look at Demi I'm like, like She's no, back to she her. They're, no, they're not all like that. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just annoying I when can't. we get represented by people Girl. like that. Like, it is. And the new song sucks. That's probably why Have she's you listened to it? No, but it's probably some like. It was on Spotify, like, briefly. I think it was like new releases. I listened and I'm like, oh, God. No. Like, it, those days are over. Those days are over. Those days are over. Yeah. I mean, Demi, you're done. Unfortunately, Cool for the Summer was it, and that's it, honey. That After that, you can you be were a one-hit wonder. No one cares. You actually had some good hits, but after this, bye. And I honestly, I don't know if you're not going to be, you might not be with us much longer. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude, but I just think people like you have a really hard time battling back from this kind of thing. Maybe you'll find God. <laughs> Sorry, I don't give a fuck. I'm so dumb. There, come on, Demi Lovato, fucking ites. What are they called? I don't know. The Demi lights or whatever. Like are Demi you, lights. The, what? Whatever her little fan club is. I'm dead. I hate them. I hate all of you. I fucking hate them. <laughs> Stop sticking up for her. She's a fucking idiot. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm I pissed. I'm really on a rant. I, hear, I love it. Also, did I love you know? Like this. Did you know that 
uh, Beyonce had to take a word out of her song. Yeah, and it's the same I'm word really that Lizzo though. did. But what is the word? Spaz. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would hate that, but it does make fun of people with cerebral palsy. Like that was an old term. Like you're being a spaz because you're like spastic. Uh, see, I picture a spaz as somebody who's like ADHD. Well, that's and honestly, that's what it's become. Is like you're just energetic. You're a spaz. You're, you're fucking you're idiot. energetic. I never thought but of cerebral palsy. It came palsy. from a slur back. That's like, interesting. Before that's interesting. And that makes sense. I know most I people know. don't know. That's why it's like they put the headline like Beyonce had to change a word for wokeness or something like that. And it's, it's like, like, girl, no, but just explain how, like explain what the word right. is, how it was used. And then, and then people will be like, yeah, that probably is not the best. This word. is why I want to watch these uh, old cartoons. Cause this yes. is the kind of the people that were watching these cartoons as children are normal. the ones that are talking and now and running yes. our country. Right. So they need to be very interesting to see what they were watching. I mean, they watched Betty Boop who had native Americans. I mean, I can't like, wow, like yeah, they, do you know what I'm saying? They grew up with all this stuff being like, that's their normal. And so now they see us and they're going like, this is wrong. Right, right. And it's You're like, trying to change everything. It's like, no, no, your We're just was trying bad. to literally just make everybody like kind of equal. Yeah. Oops. So anyway. No. Well, okay. Well. I feel like I got we a lot got of my out. chest. Oh, we got a lot off that chest, honey. Um, <laughs> next episode after this one, I'll be 38 for real this time. That's embarrassing. And we'll both be back from our little mini KVKs. So we'll have oh, things fine. to say. Yay. You'll be speaking French and I'll be speaking country. Your brand. Give it away. Give it away now. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. Somebody said at work, you're like a flea guy. I'm like, oh my God. I don't know what that means. But anyway, uh, follow us, share with us. We love you. Thank you for showing up again. 